Hey guys, welcome to this YouTube channel that is Jewel Kumar's in English. So many of you requested me to create videos in English as I, I, I have been providing content for NLC examination in my Hindi YouTube channel. So right now I, uh, I have decided that I will provide you content about NLC mechanical engineering examination in English also. That's why it will be helpful for people or students those don't know Hindi. Okay. So I will start from thermodynamics. Okay, that is my favorite subject, one of my favorite subject, and uh, I will try to provide you maximum questions uh, as I can provide you. Right? If you haven't clear your basic concept, then definitely I will tell you first clear your basic concept. That is very important, the most important thing to crack any competitive examination. That is very very important, my dear. Okay. So so let's get started. So we have first question, and uh, what we have given. It is saying the triple point on a PV diagram is a line, a point, a triangle, and the last option is not represented. One more thing I would like to tell you: whenever you are just watching these videos, you just uh, whenever I'm I'm showing question, just pause the video and try to solve the question. If you unable to solve the question, then just unpause the video and the video uh, you will get the answer also, right? Because if you will only uh, come to the answer after the question, if you will not use your brain. It will not be helpful that much. As much helpful if you use your brain to solve the problem, right? I hope so you are getting me. So the answer for this question is what a line. Why? Let me show you a diagram, right? So we have two diagrams. One is what PT diagram. Another one is what what PV diagram. And there is surface diagram that is one PV diagram which is very very important for competitive examination, right? So here it is asking about what my dear PV diagram. So P for pressure, V for volume. So it is solid. This one is solid plus liquid. Here we have liquid, liquid plus vapor, vapor and a solid plus vapor. All the you know all the phases existing in this line. That's why this is known as what triple point line. So that is the reason the answer for this question is what a line, right? So that is the biggest reason the answer is for this what line. So option A is the correct answer for this question. Now let's move on to the next question. Which of the following statement related to entropy is true? First option. It, we have to find out true, not false or incorrect, right? So always read this one. What is asking? Correct, incorrect, or false or true? So it is talking about true, right? So first statement saying entropy is uh, minimum entropy is observed when the system is in equilibrium with the surrounding. But uh, the fact is that when system is in equilibrium with the surrounding, we got maximum entropy. That means automatically this statement is not true. Next. At absolute zero temperature, the solid solution have non-zero entropy. But uh, the if you know the my dear, if you just remember the definition of third law of thermodynamics, it said at absolute zero entropy of a perfectly crystalline substance is zero, right? So for this case, it is not applicable. Next third one, substance in solid phase has least entropy. And I will talk about this. And the fourth one, entropy of conservation takes place in all irreversible process. Conservation means it is talking about conserved, but entropy is not conserved, right? In case of irreversible process, irreversible process means what? The process is going on in our daily life. Most of the process, only few process are reversible. Uh, we consider those processes just like uh, electrolysis is an uh, is a, a reversible process but entropy is not conserved in irreversible process that means the option d is also not correct it is wrong now let's come to the third point which is correct according to me so substance in solid phase has least entropy that is correct in solid phase we have least entropy in liquid phase we have medium i mean i mean mid level entropy in gas phase we have maximum entropy just remember this that's why the option C for this question is what correct. Let's say answer. Yes, here is it. Next, we have question. If the COP of the Carnot refrigerator is 4, then the thermal efficiency of the Carnot engine would be. What would be Carnot efficiency? So in this case, we have to use, uh, you know, a relationship. What relationship we know, my dear, that is COP of heat pump is equal to COP of refrigerator plus 1 is equal to 1 by efficiency of heat engine so we will use my dear this one right what i am just i am putting inside the box right so we have given cop of refrigerator refrigerator is what 4 4 plus 1 is equal to 1 by efficiency of engine right all right heat engine okay so if we we'll use this concept then we can write efficiency of heat engine is equal to 1 by what 5 is equal to what 0.2 
so it is not given in uh, you know percentage the definitely answer for this question is c right so the fact is that you need to understand you need to remember that formula right that relationship must say that so while walking between temperatures 150 kelvin and 300 kelvin the entropy change experienced by carnot engine during heat addition is 1 kilojoule per kelvin the work produced kilojoule by the engine is so we have to find out work produced by the engine how we can able to find out the work produced let's come to know now we have given entropy right so we know that that is what ds is equal to what q upon t right we know that so q is equal to what ds multiple t so we have to multiple we have to multiply this temperature with entropy this temperature with entropy then let's see what we are getting basically so 300 kilojoule uh, would be there because Kelvin Kelvin would be cancelled out so and 150 kilojoule 150 kilojoule right so we have to find out work produced not just draw the diagram of heat engine then you will understand what would be the value of work produced this is 150 right and this is work produced this is 300 and uh, like this this one is source this one is sink so we know that income is equal to outgoing right so income is what 300 outgoing is only one that is 150 so how much outgoing would be required to make it equal to 300 that is what 150 so answer for this question is what option b is the correct answer for this question i hope you understood that next a heat engine working between source uh, 200 degree centigrade and reject at 25 degree centigrade receives 5 kilowatt of heat work done for this engine is equal to 0 uh, kelvin uh, 0 uh, kilowatt not kelvin kilowatt does this satisfy the inequality of inequality of uh, classes so we have a step classes inequality up to the second law of thermodynamics what it's uh, it states it states that dq upon t is less than equal to zero less than equal to zero means what my dear it is uh, it is a irre irreversible process equal to zero means what it is a reversible process all right now we have to find out by using the data we have given whether it is reversible or irreversible one thing we have given in this question that is what work done is zero that means if heat input is 5 kilowatt that means the heat reject is also 5 kilowatt so heat by temperature is what what classes inequality temperature is how much 200 and here how much 25 so just use the subtraction sign that's why we can find out dq upon t right so what is the value we are getting i let me use the calculator and here also so the if we simplify this we are getting value in negative sign i think so let's just, just calculation let me do the calculation my dear yeah it's we are getting 0.175 right that means it is less than zero that means it is possible that means answer is what yes option a is the correct answer for this question right now let's move on to the question number six it is talking about what Moliere diagram. So Moliere diagram is what the diagram we draw enthalpy and uh, entropy where pressure is constant. So if you see the diagram, what you're getting, my dear, the option D is the correct answer for this question. Now, question next question is what which of the following formula holds true for dryness function, right? So dryness function is what, my dear, MB by MB plus ml quality of a student is talking about so option a is the correct answer for this question question number eight let's see mole diagram the system the in the superheated region at low pressure becomes definitely horizontal why let me tell you because in the case of mole chart we have enthalpy and entropy and uh, we know that enthalpy is the function of temperature also that means if you if you have fixed temperature constant temperature the line will be what horizontal because enthalpy is constant that means temperature is constant that means horizontal line would be there so answer for this question what my dear option b is the correct answer for this question next question if the heat reject from the system is zero then which of the following statements will hold true so just whenever you are talk they are talking about like this you need to just focus on the statement when heat rejects from the system is zero that means what it is saying we have to put on a diagram it is saying we have one reservoir and we are getting output that means if you are putting 10 kilojoule input we are getting similar 10 kilojoule as output no rejection 100 percent efficiency that means this one is correct right network is equal to net heat absorbed right it is heat absorbed it is saying it is, what it is network so option one is correct next heat is expensed from one reservoir only of course there is only one reservoir that is source 
there is no sink right so option b is also correct whenever you are seeing two options are correct then look at the option is there any option given my dear all of these then you can make that correct but always look at is there any option given both the options are correct in that case you have to read all the options carefully right otherwise what will happen after even knowing all the things you will mark wrong answer i don't want that so option c it violates kelvin plank statement of course it violates kelvin plank statement because from kelvin plank statement we know that it is impossible to construct a device which can convert which are, which can interact with only the reservoir right that means it can convert complete heat into work which is impossible right so from these also kelvin plank statement also we got the concept of what heat engine so after looking at the statement what we can say my dear option d is the correct answer for this question now let's move on to the question number 10th clausius statement and kelvin plank statement are not connected two parallel statements of the second law violation of one does not violate the other false statement of course the option is b why because kelvin plank statement is talking about what heat engine i mean uh, we got the concept of heat engine and from clausius statement we got the concept of what refrigerator and heat pump right and heat pump so and both the statements we have studied we have studied my dear after second law of thermodynamics that means option b is the correct answer for this question next question a reversible engine operates between temperature t1 and t2 the energy rejected by this engine acts as an input for another reversible engine at temperature t2 which rejects to a reservoir at temperature t3 what is the relation between t1 t2 and t3 if work done is same for both the engine so just look at the question there are two my dear uh, you know there are two uh, cases we have in this case if work done is same then the intermediate temperature that is t2 is equal to t1 plus t3 by if efficiency is same for both the engine that means t2 is equal to what t1 t3 power 1 by 2 that means root 1 uh, t1 t3 so these two cases you must remember that a lot of times i have seen questions from different company examinations so you must remember both the cases right next which equation defines enthalpy so enthalpy defines h equal to u plus pv so option a is the correct answer one more thing i would like to tell you enthalpy is a stored energy internal energy is also a stored energy right 13 number question which gas attain the highest efficiency of the same compression rise any of the gases diatomic monoatomic and triatomic of course the efficiency will be what which have highest gamma value so highest gamma value is having monoatomic gases and let's see what what about other gases their uh, you know their uh, gamma values right that means uh, uh, what is the value of gamma for diatomic gases for triatomic gases let's see so we have monoatomic gases 1.67 diatomic 4 7 by 5 and polyatomic that means more than uh, i mean poly metal means uh, there's so many right 4 by 3 and air air means for air gamma is equal to 1.41 right and uh, for air my dear cp is equal to what 1.005 and cb is what 0.71 right always remember these two things because it is very important to find out r also that is 287 because r is equal to cp minus cb all right now let's move on to the question number 14th in clausius theory the in clausius theorem the reversible path is substituted by so in case of clausius theorem how we can uh, substitute reversible path so for understanding this we have to understand the diagram of pv diagram of carnot cycle right so what is saying Carnot cycle? This one is river uh, isothermal, right? This one is adiabatic. This one is isothermal. This one is adiabatic, right? So because of this isothermal, this will become what my dear reversible adiabatic, reversible adiabatic. You can say that. So from Carnot uh, process theorem, the reversible path is substituted by what my dear reversible isotherm. That means option B is the correct answer for this question. Let's move on to the question number 15th. So here you go. Which relation represents an irreversible and possible process? dq by t is equal to 0, dq by t is less, uh, greater than 0, dq by t less than 0 and none of the these. Of course, we know that from clauses, uh, I mean uh, from clauses included, we know that cyclic change that is dq upon t is less than equal to 0. So, is equal to 0 what my dear? Reversible and it is saying irreversible and we know that less than 0 is what irreversible even, I mean just we have seen that also. So, option C is the correct answer for that question. A perfect gas. 
perfect gas means it is talking about ideal gas pv is equal to nrt charles law boyle's law gallus law avogadro's number all those things we study under this category so option what option will be correct my dear none of these because all these talking about my dear it is all these things belong to my dear what and most of the most of the these things belong to fm right because this one fm this one is fm this one maybe we can consider in case of ic engine also and some other cases so option what d is the correct answer next 1 kg of steam sample contains 0.8 kg dry air its dryness function so we know dryness function what my dear mb by mb plus ml that means total mass by uh, on the upper side what we have mass of vapor so mass of vapor we have given 0.8 total is 1 so answer is with what 0.8 so option b is the correct answer for this question question number 18th at which pressure the properties of water and steam become identical that is important that is what at critical pressure so in case of water what is the value of critical pressure that is what 225.6 kg centimeter square it is the unit of pressure but in general we know this by kg f centimeter square now what is the value of 1 kg f centimeters is equal to in pascal let me share with you here you go in kilo kilo pascal must say that so 1 kg per centimeters or kg per centimeters is equal to 98.0665 kilo pascal pascal is the si unit and we can write this pascal as i am writing here that is what newton per meter square now question number 19 cochrane boiler well, well guys if you are preparing for any complete examination you must study my dear types of boiler which is very very important the most important thing and we are going to get at least one question in different different complete examination i have seen at, at least if you're talking about sscj and other psc examination so option d is the correct answer because cochrane boiler is a vertical fire tube boiler so majorly there are two types of boiler we can you know classify boiler in different ways horizontal vertical water tube fire tube so you must go for that right now last question the diameter of tube for natural uh, natural circulation boiler as compared to controlled circulation boiler so here we got the word that is control control means here it is talking about force so we are using pump here for circulation right so whenever you are using any external agent for circulation that means there we required i mean small pipe size but in case of natural we required more i mean bigger pipe size so answer would be what more option for the, i mean option a is the correct answer for this question so guys that's it for today's video and guys for your ease i have created a telegram channel for you and the link of that telegram channel is what in the description if you are looking for books of nlc you can get the link in the description also so any kind of problem you're facing you can contact me below in through comment i will try to uh, help you out through this youtube channel thank you very much for watching see you soon like uh, like the video and share with your friends those are preparing and those don't understand hindi right it will be better for them Thank you very much. Bye-bye. See you soon. And uh, goodbye. Stay, take care and be safe. Bye-bye. God bless you all.